And D.C. Attorney General Carl Racine is warning embattled Commander's owner Dan Snyder to reimburse season ticket holders for deposits owed. Yeah, D.C. News Now's political and government reporter Leonard N. Fleming sat down with Racine this afternoon. And Leonard, this really seems to be the next phase of Racine's investigation. That's right. AG Carl Racine tells me the team needs to reimburse season ticket holders for their money back. He's very serious about taking this aspect on next if it doesn't happen quickly. Mr. Snyder, commanders, if you're watching, we would love to resolve the seat ticket license thing give people their money back. D.C. Attorney General Carl Racine says he's now standing up for season ticket holders. The next phase of his investigation into the team now turns to getting former season ticket holders their money back. Some have, but with a catch that Racine says isn't right. I understand, and I've not yet verified this, that in those letter requests from the commanders, the commanders are actually asking those season ticket holders as a condition to get your deposit back you've got to sign a non-disclosure agreement. I'm going to chase that down. That's against the law in the District of Columbia. The U.S. House Committee has heard testimony that the commanders have been refusing to return these deposits for years. Racine said some people have gotten checks once he began investigating. While I applaud the return of the money, it's overdue. You can't keep things a secret. This is not the NFL. This is dealing with the public and you're dealing with the law. Sam Joyce, who isn't a season ticket holder but attended a commander's game last Sunday, isn't surprised at the conduct by Snyder and the commanders. I'd be furious, personally. If I was a season ticket holder, I'd be furious if I had to do, like I said, like this organization can't really take like any more mess, so now they're having to like sign a NDA. It's repulsive to me that when a season ticket holder asks for their seat license deposit back, that they get a bunch of delay and then perhaps and i'm i'm not yet chased this down um an ex a request that yes you can have your money back but you've got to sign an nda non-disclosure agreement that tells you that someone over there is not only not thinking and doesn't care about the law but believes that they set the rules Ray Seen says there are season ticket holders in D.C. who are also affected, and he implored Snyder and the commanders to return the money immediately without an NDA agreement. For D.C. News Now, I'm Leonard N. Fleming.